it. Do you, does your body feel a lot different than this time last year? Way, way different, way different. This time last year, like coming out of matches, it was like I was dying, like couldn't breathe, but I feel much better now. That's crazy, Coach Batson, those guys. Last year, you spent a lot of time, you got a lot of time in at the end of the season that, and, and starting to pay off for you. What have you taken out of last year, coming in this year, what are you going to work on? Um, Coming out of last last season, like, like even though like I wasn't getting a whole bunch of playing time in the game, like the like the seasons does wear on your body, you know what I mean? And when you get tired, like and it's like over such a long period of time, sometimes your technique starts to get sloppy and different stuff like that. And like coming in the spring, it was like real emphasis for me to be like like sounding my technique, even though like I'm tired or I'm hurting and stuff like that. You know, like 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 in boxing, like when you get like to the later rounds, whoever's like still keeping the technique usually wins. How have you handled kind of stepping into such a much bigger role? I mean, those are big shoes to fill with, with Mitch gone. How have you kind of personally just handled kind of a little more stress, a little more pressure on him? I don't think so at all. I just, I just come here having fun, you know what I mean? Like, it was fun last year, but being able to go against people like Xavier, KJ, and Justin, and all those guys, like, that's like, what more could you ask for, you know what I mean? Go ahead. Go ahead. Going against those guys, iron against iron, you know, talk talk about when you go against those guys in practice, what does that do for you? What kind of edge does that give you going into the season next? Well, I mean, like, those literally are like the best guys in the country, so going against them helps prepare me physically, and especially since they're so fast, it helps slow the game down for me when I go against players that aren't as fast as them. To help knowing that you have four seniors behind you that can kind of guide you along, or beside you, rather. It's nice. I mean, they're all good guys, and they're all uh, – we're all still like trying to gel and like get all our communication stuff down in this unit, but I think collectively we're going to be good this year. How have those mid years on the defensive line sort of stacked up against you guys so far this spring? They're good. They're like they're like twitchy, man. Like when we, I remember our first practice, we came out here like it was walk through and they're like flying around. And it's just like for them, it's just a matter of just controlling it and getting used to the game and like getting everything mentally so they're able to play at the speed that they're capable of without having to think about all the mental things. Any of those guys flashed out? Definitely Tyler Davis, number 13. That boy is good. Like, not only is he like strong and stout, but he also can move. For his age to have such like good technique with his hands, everything's like that. He's really good. Thanks, Jackson. No